Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to write a Python program to create a function called as collides, which will read one integer number and then it will check whether the number is even. If it is, it will print that particular number and then it will return number divided by two. That is the integer part of that number. If the number is odd, then it will print that number and then it will return three multiplied by number plus one. The same thing should be repeated unless and until it returns the one at the end of the day. So first what we do here is uh, we will uh, read one number. Let us say that number is equal to int of input. Input function is used to read an input from the keyboard. By default, it will uh, uh, read that input in the form of string. So we need to convert it into integer here. So enter the number. Now what I suppose to do is I need to call that particular function that is C-O-L-L-A-T-Z of N-U-M here. So once I call this particular thing, it should go to that particular definition. So I will add a definition here, definition of C-O-L-L-A-T-Z of N-U-M over here. Now I have written uh, the prototype of this particular function. Now we will write the body of that particular function. So what should happen here is, unless and until that particular number becomes one, the same function should be called over here. So what I do is I will check one simple condition whether number is equal to one. If number is equal to one, it will just do something like this. That is written. If number is not one, what are the other two cases? The number may be uh, even or it may be odd. So I will do one thing num is e num mod uh, two is equal to zero. If it is equal to zero, what should happen here? it should print that particular number and then it should return this number mod a uh, number divided by two here so first we will do one thing we will print that particular number and then we will return uh, that collides of in u m double division two here that's the integer division why I am calling this one is the same function should be called unless and until we get number is equal to one here. I will write the final else block here that is else print num again if it is uh, odd we need to print it and then we need to return three multiplied by number plus one here. So that's the reason return three multiplied by num plus one over here. So if it is uh, the number is one, it will just return. If number is even, it will print that particular thing and then it will call that particular function again uh, with uh, the integer part of a number div divided by two. If the number is odd, it will print it and then it will call that particular uh, function again. Actually, I have to call this particular function here. And then uh, it will do this particular thing again and again over here. So we will try to run this particular program and see. Let us say that initially the number is three because number is three. This condition is not satisfied. This is not satisfied. This will be satisfied here. So first three will be printed and then this will be called. What is that? Three multiplied by three plus one. That is 10 here. So next time 10 is not equal to one. So 10 is even number here. So 10 will be printed and the same thing will be repeated over here. Now you can see three was printed. 10 was printed because it was 10 10 divided by 2 was called so 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5 so 5 was printed here 5 into 3 that is uh, 15 plus 1 16 so 16 is even 16 was printed here and the same thing has been repeated over here so you can take any number let us say that i will take uh, 8 here uh, initially 8 8 uh, mod 2 is equal to 0 so 8 was printed 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4 again uh, this is uh, even number 4 divided mod 2 is equal to 0 here. So 4 was printed. 4 uh, divided by 2 is equal to 2. So 2 mod 2 is equal to 0. 2 was printed here. So this is how actually the output looks like here. So in this video, I have discussed uh, how to write a Python program to create a function called as collides. And it will be called again and again unless and until the value of that particular parameter becomes 1. If it is even, it will print that number and then it will call that particular function with the number by two. If it is odd, it will print the number and then it will call that particular function with the three multiplied by number plus one in this case. I hope the program is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. 
press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching